everyone, my name is Katie Melio, my partners are Carter Powers and Thomas Terry, and today we are looking at passive pressure sensors as a new solution to Water Hammer. As a bit of a project overview, Water Hammer is a commonly faced problem in both industrial and residential applications. This project utilizes a prototype of innovative technology that integrates elements of biomimicry along with the development of the Renaissance Foundry model to create the prototype. Experimental tests were completed on the prototype, as well as a water hammer arrester and a control section of pipe to determine the efficacy of our prototype. Here, our biomimicry element is the lymphatic vessels in the human body. These vessels operate on pressure gradients. When the pressure on one side of the vessel becomes too great, it is allowed to open in one way and one way only in order to expel medium and relieve, alleviate the pressure found inside of that system. Carter will now talk about the um, Joukowsky hmm. equations. Water hammer most commonly occurs when a valve in a pipe system closes suddenly, and that causes a pressure spike which propagates throughout the pipe system, causing damage to the system. We can mathematically model this by deriving from the continuity of momentum equation, the Bernoulli's equation, which after a few key assumptions, including ideal fluid behavior, turns into our Joukowsky equation, which as you can see here, represents a change in pressure over time with respect to a spike in velocity. Our prototype that we'll be using in this experiment will be a steel T-junction galvanized pipe which is glued via epoxy resin to a squeeze bottle cap which acts as a sort of latex sphincter which releases pressure under high pressure gradients which can redistribute this pressure outside of our pipe system. This prototype was developed using the Renaissance Foundry model. The Renaissance Foundry model has two different regimes, the knowledge acquisition regime and the knowledge transfer regime. Generally, we found our biomimicry application, tried to apply it to a theoretical system. Upon doing that, we decided to try to model it in computer software, and when this proved to be too complex, we reverted back to the acquisition phase and met with professors and professionals in order to develop an experimental design. Once we obtained data from this, we were able to determine the efficacy of the prototype. I will now pass it off to Thomas to talk about the experimental design. In terms of experimental design, we had a long section of steel pipe with pressure sensors at each end. Um, in between these pressure sensors, uh, we had either our prototype, a regular water hammer rester, or nothing at all to act as our control. At the end of our pipe, we had a ball valve, enabling us to open and close uh, the flow of water very quickly to generate our own water hammer. As you can see um, in our first graph, just showing the water hammer spike, um, the red and green being control and water hammer arrestor, respectively, um, spike up to about 40 psi. The control uh, has more uh, spiking and therefore more damage, but the water hammer arrestor going up to the same pressure um, had less spiking. The prototype was able to redistribute that pressure um, away from the system, but after a few bits of experimenting, we uh, found a bit of an issue in that um, after water hammer uh, propagated, if we were working under a closed system because we shut the valve off, um, the pump, or in our case the faucet, uh, would still generate pressure and in the case of control and water hammer arrestor, um, it nearly doubled the pressure past the water hammer spike. But because our prototype was able to uh, move that water out of the system, um, there was, it's not a closed system anymore, and the uh, pressure was able to stay under 10 PSI. As you can see in our data here, control and arrestor about 80 PSI, but our prototype was able to stay under 10. Carter will now talk about uh, the business model. Our experimental data shows that the prototype functions well, and it is an example of incremental innovation, which can be further developed by creating a system that can divert or store our flow from our prototype somewhere else. The market that we have is pretty niche. It includes industrial and municipality pipe systems. And uh, we do not currently have a cost prediction due to the variability of geometry and other variables not measured during this pretty limited experimental design process that we did. The cost would become apparent after further testing on larger scales. In conclusion, the preliminary data shows that our prototype is effective in, in mitigating water hammer. We also realized during this process that um, this prototype could provide pressure control to systems with varying pressure. Further testing on larger scales in industrial settings would provide a more well-rounded set of data to help us develop our business model and prototype further. We would like to acknowledge Dr. Murray, Dr. Bernacki, and Dr. Stretz for all of their help and funding throughout this project, as well as many more that are listed at the bottom of this presentation. Thank you for your time.